do you need to know about selling through Messenger bots? Guys, Kim Barrett from Your Social Voice here. Today I'm talking to you about what you need to know when you're looking at selling through Messenger bots. Now I've just been playing a little bit in Messenger here, inside a few bots, and there's a few things that you need to take into consideration. Now number one, why would you be selling through Messenger bots and what does that actually mean? Right, because there's two different ways in which you can sell using messenger bots. Now, there actually is the option and the opportunity for you to be able to make a sale within their bot. And when I make a sale, I mean take payment. So you can take payment using Facebook payments, using Stripe, using a few different platforms, and you can take a payment directly inside of Facebook Messenger. Now, me personally, that to me is still a little bit scary. I'm a little bit wary of that, purely because it hasn't been tested enough. Now, if you test it, you know, like do so at your own risk. What I recommend at the moment is conversational selling. Now, you guys will be able to check out. We've done plenty of videos on sales on this channel. You'll be able to see exactly what I mean. But now, uh, uh, basically aggravating their problems, providing them, or agitating, providing them with a solution and really having a great conversation with them in Messenger, that is what I think and where the opportunity lies for you guys. So in a moment, I'm gonna take you guys through into the other room and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more of an explanation and an example of how this would work. But that's why you need to be thinking about selling through messenger bots because yes, messenger bots are still there. Yes, they are something that you should have. Yes, they are something um, and some, uh, some way in which you should be communicating with your customers. Now, as I said, I don't personally think that you need to be at the moment selling through there through using Stripe, using Facebook payments or anything like that. To me, I'm like, mm, I'm a little bit wary of that at the moment. Now, why would I be wary? Um, it's only because of the APIs and the ability to then push that information to other platforms and to also allow your customers that experience. Because the biggest thing you need to remember when it comes to messenger bots is that it's still a new technology, it's a new platform for your customers to interact upon. When something's new, people get scared about it. People are like, oh no, what's going on here? This is something new, right? And uh, they're not exactly forthcoming to put credit card details into Messenger if they haven't done so before. PayPal, things like that, yeah, we've all done it, we've all used it, we've got that experience. So that's what you need to be thinking about is when you're looking and asking your clients to take an action upon something, right that can be a little bit scary for them it can be a little bit of a worry for them when they go oh you want me to put my credit card details into messenger i've never done this before it sounds a little bit scary right but i'll show you guys how that happens but i would recommend focusing and we're going to jump into the computer and i'll show you focusing on the conversational selling having those aspects but then taking it to a secure web page ssl verified etc a page that you can process the payments on that's my thought process, that's my recommendation for you guys, rather than trying something too new that's gonna be scary for customers, because sometimes people are still a little bit wary of messenger bots, they haven't used them properly before, they don't know exactly how they work, they're a little bit, mm, should I use this, should I not use it, etc. So um, that's my point of feedback, my idea for you guys. Now guys, I'm gonna jump in my computer and I'll show you in how in a couple of the platforms you can access the process to sell inside of Messenger 2. So exciting times, I'm gonna jump in and I'll show you guys. Let's jump in the computer and have a look. We're inside the computer now, making it happen. Um, and as you can see here, I've just gone into uh, our mini chat and I've gone into our settings and here you can see payments. So you can see that payments are in better, limited countries that support Stripe. So you have to process through Stripe at the moment. However, once you can add or you can also create a Stripe account. So generally speaking, um, if you're watching this, take a look at Stripe. If you don't have it, I'll see if you can register before you go down a whole world of trying to create things inside of Messenger. But once you um, create it, you can connect it, then you can also um, identify who gets notified, how it happens. And you can see the history as well. So you can see the items, etc. So this is how you can go and take payments inside of Messenger. Like I said though, test this out. Don't necessarily, and you can see here where it can be used, right? 
um, see how this could help your business. Take time doing the research and identifying, and I'll show you guys some of the options on how you can connect it to see if it will work for you. Now, it's not going to work for everyone. It's not necessarily going to be the right thing for everyone to use. However, if you do it properly and use it right, you can start to test with your audience. I would recommend using it with existing customers, people that are already working with you because they already have the embedded trust with you. So that means that you should be able to, you should be able to encourage them because they already trust your company, your business. Now you can see here um, how you can receive payments. First, you obviously, like I mentioned, connect your Stripe account and it's in beta. So obviously it means it's not fully done yet. Um, uh, you log in, select everything, and then you can create a buy button. So buy my things, right? So you can click buy. You can put in the images of what it is, the price, etc., and you can start to take payments inside of Messenger. It's really cool. As you can see here, then it's shown, shows that it's done. So people are paying, they're not leaving um, Messenger. They're not leaving to go somewhere else. They're stuck inside, which is great. Um, then you can find out all the terms of service, etc., what's coming up, um, yeah, everything else. And that's why they don't recommend native payments, et cetera, et cetera, all of the information that you need to do. And you can also obviously test it as well. So test, try and do something for maybe a cheap product, right? Try and make it something nice, cheap and easy where you can test and you can measure and you can see exactly how something's going. You can see if it's going to work or not um, for your audience because it really comes down to what your audience wants, not necessarily what you want, right? <laughs> the most important thing is your audience. So. Guys, if I'll, I'll leave you with this and let, and let you know that you should be always testing. Go and test, have a play, see if your audience responds, test it with your market to start off with. And I think that you know, you'll know you see in the next coming years and in, in probably in the next six to 12 months as well, a push for people interacting and buying through here. Once they add on up sales and click with things like that, it's, like, oh, it's gonna be so good. So guys, as always, I hope you've enjoyed this video and make sure that you like this video and make sure you comment and let us know what you like best. And as always, subscribe so that you get the videos first before anyone else. Until next time, I'm Kim Barrett. You've been awesome. Like, comment, subscribe. See y'all very soon.